everybody Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. And today's manga Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for Oshinoko Chapter 147. But before we get into it, this week happened live reaction, we are at war with YouTube's algorithm. And it is slowly but surely killing my channel. And in order to defeat this algorithmic beast, we need you to please hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because of course this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored enough. We ain't sponsored by Shueisha, and we ain't sponsored by Manga Plus. And considering how much we promote Manga Plus on this channel, it's kind of surprising, right? <laughs> but if you love what we're doing and want to help keep me, my adorable little bubba kitty who's somewhere around here, and this operation literally alive and kicking, so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our Cash Up and PayPal. Links are in the description box below. So... Well, last chapter really explained a lot of why um, Hikaru uh, did what he did. And that's because he was rejected by I. And remember, up until that point, like, he, he was holding everything in because of he was getting molested. And, um, well, then when I rejected him, that was the final straw, because he, because I was the only like light he had in his life. But then it happened, but when she rejected him, it was over. But something I found very interesting was um, kind of similar to Heath Ledger when he was playing the Joker in The Dark Knight, and he got consumed in the role, and so consumed that it led to his demise. That's what we saw with Aqua, and I know the um, Aqua Arima stands were living when they saw Arima pull him out of it. Um, but unfortunately, obviously, we, Heath Ledger, he didn't get that chance. But at the end of the chapter, we saw um, Hikaru, the real Hikaru, meet up with, uh, with Ruby. I'm very interested to see what's going to be happening this week, which is the start of a new arc, by the way. So without further ado, let's get to it. And I love this cover where we have uh, straight up a yin yang motif, which is manga Illuminati. I've been saying it for years. It is manga Illuminati. It is. But anyways, let's keep going. And this chapter is titled Wish. Hmm. Thank you. You're such a big help. Um, don't sweat it. I just happen to have an umbrella with me, so I was lucky. You seem to be praying for a long time here. What exactly were you wishing for? The answer... There's someone I've hated all this time, but, um, no one was purely born evil in this world. Environment and circumstances destroy people. Um, I might have walked on the same path, too. Mm. Well, good and evil are subjective, but, like, there's been research done. Um, we're, um, kind of similar with, like, mental illness, like, bipolar and whatnot, where, um, where it depends with your brain, how your brain is wired. And some people, like psychopaths and sociopaths and whatnot, um, their brains are wired to where they do really fucked up things. So, that's why I'm, like, born e some people technically can be born evil. It just depends on how their brains are wired. Very interesting stuff. Um, but yeah, it, it, I know, it's a nature versus nurture situation. But yeah. In the, in the case of Hikaru, though, it's definitely a nurture situation. I feel so bad for him. Uh, so what went wrong? Maybe it was just bad luck. No one is at fault. I realize that. Um, I, too, can be saved if I think that way. Nevertheless, um, there, there's someone I can never for, like, nevertheless, there's someone I can never forgive. Even after a decade, the feeling of not being able to, uh, forgive without reason is still there. I feel like I can finally move forward, um, by pouring out all my hatred. To forgive or not to forgive, I have to choose one. But I don't know what's right, so I want God to tell me what to do. Hmm... See. 
Let's let's go let's go back here. I want to read this again. Um no one is up uh let's see, read this again. Environment and circumstances destroy people. Um I might have walked down the same path too. And I like I love that we're seeing um uh Serena's um uh mama in her uh in her pupil cuz yeah, cuz it's the same thing here. So um, because her circumstance, she was, she had a terminal illness. And obviously her mama, she abandoned her. So, so what went wrong? Um, maybe it was just bad luck. Well, bad luck in terms of genetics, but no one is at fault. Um, I realize that. Um, I too can be saved if I think that way. Nevertheless, there's someone I can never forgive. Even after a decade, the feeling of not being able to forgive without um, reason is still there. I feel like I can finally move forward by pouring out all my hatred. Probably towards Hikaru. I'm, you can make the argument towards her mama, too, because after what she saw, but um, I think it's more so towards uh, Hikaru than anything else. To forgive or not to forgive, I have to choose one, but I don't know what's right. So I want God to tell me what to do. I'm sorry, um, hmm. I can understand that. Like, I'm, um, when I say I'm in a similar predicament, you know what, in my, in my situation, I'm never going to forgive those motherfuckers. No, I will never forgive the people that gave, um, Brian that heroin. No, I'll never forgive them. It's their fault. It's their fault that he's gone. It's their fault. They ruined my fucking life. But I also look at the other side of the, the coin as well for me. Is that I was too... I should have never let them in. I should have ne- I, I should have... Uh, I should have never been... Should have never let them take um, advantage of my my kindness like that. Because I just, I felt bad for them. Because they were homeless. So, or on the verge of home, or no, they were basically homeless and I felt bad. And that was stupid. So, yeah. <sighs> I'm sorry I keep saying things that you don't even understand. I haven't gathered my, oh, uh, sorry. No, oh, God, now I'm just mad. Oh, this is why I love covering, this is why manga is my ther uh, therapy. This is why I do this channel, because it's my fucking therapy. I'm sorry I keep saying things that you don't even understand. I haven't even uh, gathered my thoughts yet. Um, it's okay, you can worry about it to your heart's content. But strictly speaking, God doesn't give us answers. Only you can answer that question. If you um, come up with an answer after worrying about so much, then you have to accept it. Everyone does. No! No. God will get there. There's way in Ruby's case. God will give her an answer. God will give you. In my case, God does give me an. God works in mysterious ways. The universe will give you an answer in a mysterious way. You think? Uh, yeah. It's not something you want to ask God anyway. You'd rather listen to your true wish, I guess. True wish? What do you want to do? What do you want to become? I want to hear it too. I want to fulfill my mother's unfinished dreams. Hmm. hmm, so you want to be like your mother. You want to be even one step closer to her. And I'll, um, I'll become, wait, yeah. I'll become an idol that surpasses my mom. People will idolize me more and more to the point where they can't um, afford to think about the past. I think that's the only way we can all be saved. Ooh, I love, I love it. Because the star went from dark, the black star turned into, you know, the, the light star. Like, I feel like this is the way she can move forward. Yeah. That's wonderful. There's no one brighter than you in this world right now. Your life is precious. Perhaps even more than your mo- Ruby-chan, um, 
Did you visit your mother's grave? Um, Akanishan, who is that gentleman? Uh, it started to rain up here, up there, so he shared his umbrella with me. Thank you very much. I'll take her from here. Sure, please do. Right in the nick of time. Hikaru, what were you about to do? What was he about to do? Was he about, like, was he about to kill her? Because look at the background. Like, he was about to fade into the clouds. Like, or, like, you see the transparency in the hair. And, like, the star in his eyes. It was very eerie. Hmm. Was that Ruby? No, both of them it was. Hmm. Hey, let's go get some tea. Um, okay, sounds good. Ooh, Akani knows. Has she been following you, uh, Kimiki-san? Um, maybe. Good gracious, I think it's time for me to pay the piper. This movie reveals everything about, um, Iri-san and Seijiro-senpai without reserve. It'll become a hot topic, both in a good way and a bad way. And yet, I'm referred to as Boy A here. Um, Kaburagi-san sure is ill-natured, huh? Once this movie is released, they'll definitely start hunting for the culprit. They'll ask who Boy A is in the tabloids and on social media. I guess he's trying to kill me not by the movie, but by the public's malice. Um, Kimiki-san, um, it's okay. I knew this day would come sooner or later. I don't mind rotting like this either. Along with the, um, many lives I've carried on my back, um, along with the many lives I've carried on my back, but before that... What is he trying to do? Hmm. Ooh, so here's the final scenes of the film. There's, a, here's when I dies. Um, or I gets murdered. Ruby-san, that's a wrap. Following chapter, uh, the end of the play. Dude, this was Fire. So yeah, it really seems that Hikaru was going to kill, um, kill Ruby by pushing uh, her down the stairs. But dude, Hikaru knows he's going to get destroyed on, on social media. He knows. The court, I'm not going to use that, I don't believe in, here's my thing, because I know people are going to be like, cancel culture, cancel culture, motherfucker, I don't believe in that shit, I don't give that shit power, no, what I call it is the court of public opinion, the court of public opinion is damning, the court, if you, um, the court of public opinion will deem, if they deem you guilty, you are fucked, they will destroy your career. But not only that, in this case, though, with Hikaru, it's not only just the court of public opinion, it's going to be, like, actual court court as well. And in Japan, with the le Japan has the death penalty as well. He will be sentenced to death. In regards to I, and, pro and if uh, he did kill, if he did kill Goro, he will be sentenced to death. There's no doubt in my mind. But I'm very curious what you guys um, uh, think of this chapter. Uh, I think, do we think that um, this series is uh, close to ending? I think that, um, do I think that uh, Hikaru will die before, um, before even seeing Seeing the courtroom or the court of law? Yeah, probably, because Aqua is probably going to kill him. But that doesn't mean that he will be destroyed by the court of public opinion.
but what about Aqua himself? Will Aqua, will Aqua die in the pro- I still see Aqua dying by the end of this. If Aqua survives, I will be, like, really surprised. I just, I'm trying to think how Aqua will die in all this. I feel like it's going to be one of those things where, like, Hikaru, um, I feel, I wonder what you guys think. Do you guys think this chapter kind of foreshadows that, um, Hikaru, it's one of those things where Hikaru's going to take Aqua with him? Because I think, part of me thinks Hikaru wants to die, and he's going to take Aqua with him. Let, let me, let's, let's double check this. Because looking at this, with he, with him, when he says, if you come up with an answer after worrying about it so much, um, then you have to accept it, everyone does, like starting from there. Like, I think it's there that uh, you really start to see it. No, it's right at, um, no, it's even more than your mother where he starts to become a little bit more, no, it, it is there. Okay, that's what I thought. Like, starting there, and he's, he's, like, glistening in the rain and everything like that. I think, I think that, um, no, I don't think he wants to die. He just wants to kill Ruby. But I think, I think Aqua, he and Aqua are going to die. Um, and I think Aqua's gonna push him down the stairs. Oh my god, if Aqua pushes him down the stairs and we have, like, a showgirls moment, I will fucking die. I really will. Hmm. Let's see. Oh. But here it is. This is where I was thinking of. Where um where Ru where uh, Akane uh calls for Ruby Chan calls for Ruby, you see like the transparency in, uh, like, where it looks like he's, uh, go see the clouds in his hair, in Hikaru's hair. And hell, even, even more than your mother, you kind of see it too. Start to see it. That's why I'm like, mm. I don't know. I kind of think that, um, we're gonna have a showgirls moment. I really do. I think Hikaru is gonna get pushed down some stairs. I think that, um, then that's how he's gonna die, and it will be amazing if we, this is, if we have a showgirls moment, and I really, I, if Aqua dies with Hikaru, um, aka getting pushed down, uh, they both fall down the stairs, and that's how they die, I will not be mad at that, I, I won't. What I can see is, actually, now that I, now that I think about it, what I can see is Aqua stabbing, um, Hikaru, and then they both fall down this, and then, or, and then they both fall down the stairs. I could see something like that. But I'm very curious what you guys think. Um, do you guys think that um, Aqua is still going to die? I, I really think he is. Like, I think last chapter kind of foreshadowed it. And fuck, it's been... It's been, like, established from ever since uh, I's death that Aqua is going to die. It, it's just, it has been established that that's going to happen. But I feel like the way it's going to happen just needs to be addressed. But I'm very curious what you guys think. What do you got? how do you think uh, Aqua is going to die? Um... Uh, do you guys think that, um, Hikaru is, uh, um, 
I think, I wonder if Aqua and Hikaru are going to die prior to the movie's release. That would be very interesting. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. Do you think they're going to die prior to the movie's release? Or do you think they're going to die at, um, at the film's premiere? Ooh, I kind of would like that. I want them to die. Um, I want their fight, their final fight. I want it to be at the film's premiere. That, I think, would make the most sense. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Zinc. Love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more Oshinoko content. The only ways you can do that, donate to our cash app, PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord. Friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans. We'll be seeing you later. Bye.